Hey y'all, it's Ashley Danielle from I'mAlwaysAshley.com here with another fun project that you and your little ones can do at home to just keep yourselves entertained while we're adjusting to being home a little more than we usually would during the summer. So today we decided to make weather wheels. I don't know if you guys made those at school. I know my kids made them last year, but they didn't make them this year and it's a great way to just start the day with something kind of fun, but also keep them learning over these summer months. To do this project, all you will need is a paper or styrofoam plate. I was trying to do paper plates, but we already had some of these, so go with what you got. <laughs> a marker. We also have some paper fasteners. I think this was a little under $2 at Target. We went to Target and got these. But some paper fasteners, doesn't matter. We got the silver ones, you can get the gold ones, it doesn't matter. Some construction paper and some crayons. Let's get started. Start by taking your plate and dividing it into four sections with the marker. That will give them space to create each type of weather that we're gonna color today. So we're gonna do sunny, cloudy, rainy, and snow. I know in Alabama we don't really get snow, but hey, just in case, we'll be ready. Now just have your little ones get their crayons and start coloring each section. Felicity, what section are you gonna color first? This one. And what type of weather is that going to be? Partly cloudy. Partly cloudy. Okay, partly cloudy. Go ahead. David, what about you? Um, um, I will think partly rainy. Partly rainy? Okay. Um, partly, partly snowing. Yeah, partly sunny. Partly sunny. Okay, well you just have at it. It's kind of cool. Boys. <laughs> Okay, so after they have decorated their plate, I had already cut out arrows for them to use um, out of the construction paper. You're gonna take one of your paper fasteners, poke it through the arrow, and then poke it through the middle of the paper plate. Flip it on the back and separate it. Let me see if I can get this done with my nails. Yes, aha. <laughs> Once you have your paper fastener on the back of your plate, make sure it isn't too tight so that the arrow can still spin. Now your little ones can change their arrow depending on what the weather is like. And they have their weather wheel. Okay, so we are done with our weather wheels and we're gonna put them up in the window and it'll kind of be our little science lesson um, every day. Probably after breakfast, we'll just go look at them and then we can spin the arrow. Y'all have fun, bye.